three, both the hardest and longest level is divided into parts. Keep walking and the part will loop. So to get to every next part, you'll have to enter a certain tree in the foreground. Enter the wrong one and you'll either have to repeat that part or go back to a previous one. Sometimes the very beginning. Some trees you have to make holes while others already have them. The fastest way out is to make a hole and enter the first tree before the loop, which skips part two. Make a hole and enter the third tree. Make a hole and enter the first tree after the loop and then walk to the boss. How is any kid supposed to figure this out? Not only are all the trees with holes lies, but so are some that you make holes in. Besides another pattern that's only different by involving part two, this is the only way out. Otherwise, you'll be jumping from part to part for what could be hours. I'm not kidding. Just in case that's not confusing enough, if you're ever sent back to part one, it changes so you can't skip part two. Oh, and if Minnie falls in a bottomless pit? Yeah. Fuck! I accidentally pressed up. Fuck! Now, I have to go all the way back to the very beginning! What a fucker nuzzle. And why must it take like 10 years to make holes and reveal items? And what's this? Toes in Kuribo's shoe? Oh! Sorry! Mushrooms in eggs? Spitting piranha plants? Oh, sorry! Spitting tulips! So, I guess that's okay. You know, it's like they thought it would be okay if they look the same, but be different. Well, ground is definitely the same. Just give Mickey the raccoon suit and be done with it. You know what's really annoying? Why must there be so many enemies guarding the pits? This is one of the cheapest games I've ever played. Other way, you mini fuck. And why is walking on ice the same as walking on ground? There should be less friction. Damn, those flowers are massive. And they're in the background too, which means they're even bigger. Look at all these enemies. Why are there so many of them? Fuck! Look at this. Why is aiming control so bad? Fuck! Finally! Trying to dodge them all is suicide, so you might as well try to shoot down everyone in your path. Never would it be wise to hear not shoot. They never end! Why is the control so bad? The music is even worse. It's torture. It's even more cheerful than before, and it's like forcing me to be happy while I'm mad as fuck. Damn it! <laughs> Look at her cheeks. <laughs> Look at his smile. Oh, that's funny. The pirate ship should be between the ocean and the woods. And look how short it is. That's it? You've got to be kidding me. But going up there is suicide. Look what I have to do. This is ridiculous. Now, it would make more sense for this to be the last level because Bootleg Pete is the villain on the label and the only boss that's actually from the Mickey Mouse universe. But no, there's one more after this. The castle. Yeah, <laughs> only five levels while Mario 3 has eight worlds. That's pathetic. This is where Minnie is the worst. Look at this. Get up here! Today! You grumpy daughter of a fuck twat. For the sake of fuck. Fuck. Oh, man. That crow. Just kidnap Minnie. That would have been awesome if I didn't need her to beat the level! So now I have to go to the bonus room and win her back. Now, when Minnie is missing, the next hidden item you reveal will be the key. So you have to shoot everywhere until you reveal it. Grab it to unlock and enter the bonus room. The goal is to touch the correct Tweety Bird or whatever the fuck these things are. Touch the wrong one and you have to go back to reveal another key to restart. Now, you'd assume that everyone you get wrong only narrows down the option the next time you play. But no, that's not how it works. It's always random, meaning if the last one was wrong the first time, it could be right the second. Because of this, every round is pure chance. 
I swear. I had to redo that fucking bonus room over 10 times, which means I had to collect over 10 keys, which by themselves take forever to do. It's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Great, what a wonderful prize. Look at this, I'm bouncing on air. What? Bootleg Pete is back and now he's just a random enemy? Why isn't he the final boss? Instead we get another generic villain. But unlike the others, all you have to do to beat her is go behind and shoot. Could the ending be any worse? Great. So that was the objective the entire time. To save Alice. Alice? What the fuck does Alice have to do with the Mickey Mouse universe? Well, other than being a Disney character. And that's it? Nothing else? End? You'd be better off getting anal fucked by a walrus with elephantiasis of the dick. What a fucking disgrace to the mouse's legacy.